But I have been having, uh, I had a brutal flight. All right. I flew out of LAX, Los Angeles International Airport, that for some reason, if you go beyond Colorado, you just can't get a fucking direct flight anywhere. I don't, I don't get it. When I was in New York City, I could fly to all these places directly. Maybe it's because I was in New York and it was only an hour and a half away. I don't, I don't fucking know. It just doesn't seem like he can fly anyway. So anyways, I got to fly L.A. to Phoenix, Phoenix to Columbus. All right? On U.S. Air. So I get on the plane, and there's two empty seats next to me. And it's getting close to the point where they're going to close the door to the plane. And I'm excited, like, holy shit. I'm going to have this whole fucking road to myself. This will be nice. I can stretch out a little bit, take my carry-on, stick it under the other chair. This is going to be great. Right before they close the door, lo and behold, this fat tub of shit gets on the fucking plane. All right? And I'm thinking, oh, God, not me. Please, for the love of God, don't pick my row. You know when you do that shit? You're just fucking willing the guy to sit down as he waddles his fat ass down the fucking aisle. It's him and his fucking lady, right? So he fucking comes all the way up, comes to my row, and he's just standing there. And I'm hoping he's just standing there because he's putting his stuff in the overhead compartment. I can literally feel the fucking heat radiating off of his body from the 22 years of mistakes that he's put in his goddamn stomach. All right? And what does he do? He, oh, yeah, I'm in that row. I'm in your row, so I got to get up. And what does he do? His, he lets his fucking girl sit by the window, and then he sits in the middle seat. And this fat fucking tub of fucking shit. This dude was so fat, I was sitting behind his back fat. You know what I mean? He was like fat and round. It was like sitting next to a planet with a head. You know, it was like you could the roundness of this guy. Okay, so he's trying to be less fat. God bless him. So he crosses his arms when all it does is just cause his fat lat to fucking bulge out even more into my airspace that I fucking paid for. And it's not real. All I'm thinking is why the fuck didn't he take the window seat and then post up against his girlfriend? My shoulder was getting hot from his arm. It was he was on me. This fucking guy was on me. If I was claustrophobic, they would have had to turn the plane around. This is how much this guy was in my chair. And I'm thinking, why the hell, why didn't you just take the fucking window seat, you fat fuck? Have a little bit of fucking consideration, you tub of shit. You know, with your basketball shorts, like you actually never played a goddamn day in your life. His fucking legs spread out like he was going to give birth to a baby calf. You know? Why don't you sit near the window? You know what I realized after a while? He didn't sit near the window because he's so fucking fat, he can't. He can't. If he sat by the window, his other fat lat would have blown out the window. We all would have got sucked out. Unless his tub of shit body fucking somehow got stuck in the fuselage. Which if you saw him, wouldn't, wouldn't be beyond you. a possibility. Unfucking believable. And he's sitting there. This is what kills me. He's sitting there and he's he's biting his nails. And I just want to be like, dude, do you ever stop eating? Is there a moment and you're you're literally consuming yourself right now? I know, I know, I know what you guys are thinking. Well, hey Bill, why don't you fly first class? Oh yeah? Well, hey, why don't you go fuck yourself, hypothetical person who said that? Okay, I understand I bought a coach seat. I know what that means. That means my fucking knees are going to be in my chest. That means if I'm even slightly leaned forward and the guy in front of me reclines, he's going to hit me in the head. I understand that. Okay? I get it. But that doesn't mean that this tub of shit... I shouldn't have to pay an extra couple of fucking grand uh, or whatever, 1500 bucks, so somebody else's lard isn't in my lap. I am... Full on, 100% behind you having to buy two seats when you're on an airplane, okay? I'm sorry, you fat, okay? But you made your choices. This is one of the things. This is a good thing. You got to buy two seats. You got less money for cookies. Maybe that'll be a goal. Maybe that'll be your bottoming out. But it's, it's, 
absolutely ridiculous that I have to say. I'm literally leaning out into the fucking aisle. My giant microwave oven head is out there, and then I got to deal with the stewardess going, excuse me, sir, excuse me, sir, can you not share in the chair, please, sir? All right, I got to watch him. I can't start yelling here. I'm in a hotel room again. I already got one strike against me. They probably build a fucking file on me. Um, yeah, I'm leaning out there. That was This is the best part. The food cart comes. Okay? They asked me what I You know, they asked the dude what he wants to drink. He goes, can I have a Coke? Can I have a Coke? I just want to be like, dude, how about a water? How about a salad? Are you trying to make yourself even fatter during the flight? Do you know what that soda is going to do to your already distended fucking belly? You already can't even put the fucking tray down. This dude couldn't put the tray down. He tried. He tried to put the tray down. Oh, my God, this fucking guy. I swear to God. The thoughts I was thinking, it was embarrassing. I was sitting there thinking, like, you know, I'm so glad this dude's going to die young. Can you believe that? I'm not happy in real life that that's going to happen. But that's how fucking uncomfortable I was, and that's how fucking mad I was at this guy. Absolutely. You got to buy two seats, people. You got to do it. I love when they try to leave the fucking arm up, too. I don't play that. I fucking shave that ham right down. I bring the fucking thing right the fuck down. Fucking sit here making me uncomfortable, and you, you want to relax? If I could, I'd put my foot in your chest and make your belt even tighter. That's what I do to you. Cut off your circulation to your legs. Maybe you'd get up and take a walk. There's no excuse for it. You know, and I know this is probably coming off insensitive, but you know something? I've been a redhead my whole life. Nobody gives a shit. We don't get, we don't, we're not considered handicapped. Capped. We're not considered handicapped. This always happens when I scream all weekend. We're not considered handicapped. We don't get our own parking spaces. These tubs of shit, they're getting their own parking spaces now. Making a shorter walk to the store, making them even fatter. The only positive thing I can say about this guy was he only went to Phoenix and he didn't smell. I got to give him that. He didn't smell. I don't know if he fucking jumped in a goddamn pond, you know, killed 200 fish before he got onto the flight. I don't know what he did, but he, he didn't smell. But I swear to God, you know, what, you know what kills me is I ranted about this on the radio here in Columbus. And somebody called up the radio station, said, I'm 5'8", 300 pounds. And I love to fly. I'm never listening to this radio station again. Can you believe that? This dude actually felt like he was the victim. You know, that'd be like if some wife who got the shit kicked out of her ranted about her piece of shit husband for slapping the shit out of her. And then some guy calls up, hey, I got issues with women and I slapped the shit out of my wife and I'm never listening to this radio station again. You know? Give me a fucking break. You know, you know what you need to do. Eat a salad. Go for a walk. You don't have to put money down for, for the gym. Just go for a walk. It's actually easier to do cardio when you're not at the gym. Because when you're at the gym, at any point, you can just get off and walk 100 yards to your car. Your car is always 100 yards away. When you walk out your front door and you walk a mile away, what, are you going to just quit and lay down on the ground? you got to walk back. There's two miles. Easiest two miles you'll ever fucking do. Or, or, or be a tub of shit. Be fat. That, that's your right. Okay? But buy two seats. That's all I'm going to say. All right? <laughs> do I wear short shorts showing off my milk white legs offending everybody's eyeballs? No, I don't. I'm considerate. I wear the Jordan ones. They come down right over my little white knees. Um, you're listening to the Monday Morning Podcast, and yes, it is insensitive. Doesn't mean it's wrong. I'm right. I'm right on this one. I'll fucking... Hey, fatties who listen to this podcast, God bless you. Have yourself a Sunday on a Monday, right? <laughs> I understand it. Your emotional leader, something fucking bad happened to you, so food is your friend, and then you go in there. I, I get it. I get it. I want you to lose weight. I want you to feel good about yourself. But until you're at that weight where you're not, you know, 
spilling into my seat. You got to buy two seats. I shouldn't have to suffer because you ate all the cookies in the house. That's not my fucking fault. Oh, Jesus, Bill, we got it. I actually tweeted this week that fat people are the new secondhand smoke. <laughs> Hey, you want to be fat? Go outside. 